Guess who? And me again. Same Ryan, same outfit, same background. I did three of these at once. Uh, this is a ridiculous episode of Super Nanny. Okay? Uh, I'm going to say that right now before we even get into it. This mom is my least favorite mom. Usually it's the dads in this show that piss me off. This mom is pretty much insufferable. And you will see why that is. Just get ready for this. It gets crazier as it goes on. I'm not going to lie. Uh, once again, to reiterate, moving soon. That's why everything's bare in the background. Trying my best to keep up with some uploads and streams, but it's going to be a little lull, so I figured I'd get as many of these up as I can. So please thumbs up for me, at least trying my best. Comment during this video. Give me any thoughts that you have, and subscribe if you haven't. Um, and also, I didn't promote this the last couple of episodes, but I watch these live on Twitch. So always would love to have you join live. It's more fun and interactive, and I get to talk to you and get to know you if you feel like doing that. If you just want to be a lurker and do your thing, I understand. I get it. But if you want to come watch these live, it would make me feel very good. Uh, the Twitch is in the description, or you could just go to twitch.tv slash notryanabe on a desktop or on a mobile app. Come on by. Help me grow the Twitch. Um... But yeah, get ready for a doozy for this one. And uh, this is one of the rare episodes where the dad, I feel like, ends on a, a decent note, which is is rare. So get ready. Buckle your seatbelts. And if you're in a chair that doesn't have a seatbelt, do, you know, do like that or something. Just protect yourself, okay? All right, that's it. Wish me luck with the move. I'm nervous. I hope everything goes well. I hope my internet works at the new place. I'm stressed. I'm very stressed. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I'm thinking about everything possible right now, and I don't like that. So I can't wait to be in my own spot and calm. All right. Enjoy the episode, and hopefully I'll talk to you very soon. Hi, we're the Tafoya family. I'm Holly. I'm Jimmy. We oh, have you're in boys. this. Ow! James. Who's seven? Get me smacked the hell. Wait, he smacked the hell out of that guy. I'm Holly. I'm Jimmy. We have three boys. Ow! Oh, what is James? Jimmy? Tafoya family. I'm Holly. I'm Jimmy. Oh, okay, they said 20. Me? We have three boys. Ow! James. Who's seven? That felt good. Tyler. Who's five? What? And Ryan. Who's two? Yeah! Of course it's me. Of course he's crying. Of course he's a satanic one. God forbid. Where, Ryan? I am a stay-at-home mom. Hey! Not on my furniture. Shoot. And I am a garage door technician. Damn. Being at home with the boys throughout the day is very stressful. Ryan, sit your butt on your bed now. I feel like I'm going to have gray hair before I'm 30. Damn. Well, this lady's certainly got her hands full. Three mischievous boys. James, he's just a tornado. He's everywhere. James is very aggressive. He can lie with the best of them. You're lying. Why are you lying to me? Uh. It looks like this one likes to lie all the time. That's a no-no. <laughs> Tyler is a carbon copy of James. <laughs> this when they like go over nightmare. to their friend's house, they have a tendency to play the hey, teen Paulina. games or the M for mature games. These video games are too old for them. Ryan is twice Ryan. as bad as his older brothers. Man, what the hell? Come on, man. <laughs> For discipline, we do everything. You're inside for five minutes. No. Sometimes I think that Jimmy's a little bit too harsh. Hold, hold on, Jimmy. Hello? Did you what? Five minutes. No. Sometimes I think that Jimmy's a little bit too harsh. Go. Little bad boy. Let's go. Come on. Sit down. That's like a prison guard. I said don't do that. I have to try and get them under control to, to help her because she's pulling her hair up. Had enough. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you're bad. I just want control of my kids. I want to learn how to be a better mom. Because I completely and totally think that every last bit of my kids' be one of these episodes. Has everything yeah, to Ryan do alone. with the way my husband and I raised him. <laughs> Super nanny, please come. We're desperate. This is serious. You guys need my I'm help. On my I'm way. on my way. Up, oh, I just finished my food. Barry didn't get any, so he wants to leave. Hello. Hi. Hi, 
What's your name? James. James. Oh, hi, pleased to meet you. Hi. When I first saw Jo, I thought, thank God she's here. Hi, pleased to meet you. When I first saw Jo, I wasn't happy that she was there. Hello, what's your name? Ryan. Hi, Ryan, come and shake JoJo's hand. Hi, pleased to meet you. Hi, I'm Joe. pleased to meet you. James, do you Hi. eat my... What I'm going to do is hang out with you guys for the day and really take some mental notes and observe you guys as a family. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Come on, Ryan, let's go. My kids are going to run her down. Oh, they won't, trust okay, me. Let me play for a minute, then I'll let you play, OK? I see 28 yards on my first completion. I'm going to do it again, watch. I must have been there 20 minutes and one of the boys walked out of the house and nobody knew he was even gone. Oh, oh you don't even know how to play. <laughs> Why is that so funny? He just said goodbye, family. What are you doing? Trying to, <laughs> trying to tackle. Why don't you wait till the ball snaps? He's on the bus. So I stepped outside and saw that he was getting into his red car. He's about to drive away. To go on the road around to his friend's house. You're in the road, out you come. That's crazy. It's crazy. Me and her finish each other's sandwiches. A car was on the road, and this little boy here is on the road. Why are you out here? This, does this, does this guy have a gun in his, What's on the road? Gun in his mouth? And this little boy here is on the road. What in the hell is going on with this girl? <laughs> what the hell is that? Why are you out here? Here, on your own. Who said you can be out here on your own? You pulled the trigger. I brought Tyler indoors so I could bring... You can be out here on your own. My God. I brought Tyler indoors so I could bring this to Mum's attention. Is this episode Arizona? It looks like it. Caitlin, it looks like it. Did they say? So, I just want to ask this question. Is it something that they do, that they go out and they play? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, they... Uh, I let them go outside by themselves all the... Not Ryan. Okay, first of all, what's your beef with me, bitch? Letting your five and seven year old go outside in the middle of the street on their own without any supervision is crazy, by the way. Right. But the other two. Right. These kids are allowed outside the house to roam where they want to. They just can't take for granted that their kids are okay and they're going to be fine. What are they thinking? Hi, beefs. It's sad, but in today's world, Kids are not always safe in their own neighborhood. So when the kids decided to play video games at a neighbor's house and mum and dad didn't really care, it was up to me to keep them out of arm's way. James likes to go to his friend's house and Tyler often follows along and they'll play games that they're not supposed to play. Let me see, let me see, let me see that one. This one got tea written on it. Well, if, if they, if, if, uh, Joe finds out what GTA is, it's a wrap. This team. There's violence. What's it? What the hell? He does have an earring. What the hell is. <laughs> James got his ear pierced, bro. He's probably got tattoos. I mean, when they say violence. When they say it's violent, it's not really violent. They're just trying to get you not to play. Okay, in video games, you race, shoot, and um, tackle. You pop them in the head. <laughs> really, you do. What do you think 10 plus means? You gotta be 10 and under. Or well, it's a plus. 10 plus. So you're too young now. No, 10 and under. So 10 and under. I knew that James knew what some of the ratings meant, but definitely not some of the others, and this really did have me concerned. But this one's got M on it. Oh. It was yeah. M rating for Mature. It's a very, very, very hard game. Right, right. These kids are seven years old, and yet they're playing video games that are for teen, 10 plus, and M for Mature. These kids are bad kids. Sure. You wouldn't want kids this young watching an R-rated movie. <laughs> This is a scary thing, and you know, parents have got to be in control of this and get a grip. I'll kill you. Let him on. Where the hell's a TV at? Way up there. Hey! Wanna go in the corner? 
After we got home, okay, home, the kids were mimicking the video games they were playing. They have a weird Sonic the Hedgehog or Mega? I don't know. I like they were going. I'm not fucking leaving! What did he say? First time Prime sub? Let's go! Thank you, Hannah. I appreciate that. Thank you for the first time sub. Thank you so much. I like to play with guns. This kid scares me, bro. They like to reenact the violence. Your finger like this, and then shoot. We're seeing kids behave like they're in these video games. Holding up toy guns, wanting to point it at other children's heads, and Hola. wanting to kill people. See? And that influence is not a positive one at all. Hey. The boys Damn. were aggressive, and I knew that the video games Damn. had contributed towards that, but I knew there I'm must be other underlying reasons. Bro, well, these kids are crazy. <laughs> we threw him to the ground. Look at this. The video games at all. Hey. Look at him kick him in the <laughs> Look how hard he kicks this kid. That influence is not a positive one at all. <laughs> Boom. The boys were aggressive. Hey, New Hope, how are you? Caitlin, thank you for the first back-to-back -back first time <laughs> subscriptions. Caitlin, thank you very freaking much for that. What a thing to pause on, by the way. And I knew that the video games had contributed towards that. Story. But Thank I knew the there must be other subs. underlying reasons, their behavior. Oh, I'm gonna walk upstairs to make sure you go to the back. I'm not fucking leaving! Now we're getting so many subs. Brianna with the back-to-back -back prime now. Thank you, a little burst here. If you don't go to the back, I'll beat your ass, watch. <laughs> a lot happening, sorry chat. A lot of rewinding here. Did not expect him to say that. If you don't go to the bathroom, I'm gonna beat your ass. Watch. If you don't go to the bathroom, I'm gonna beat your ass. So if you don't have to take a shit, you're done. What's up, Claire? How are you? After watching the boys play video games for five out of the seven hours I had been there, of course, the older boys started fighting. Oh! But this time, Dad Thanks was watching too. Magic. You didn't push him? You didn't, you didn't, did you push him? He threw him. Come on, let's go. Let's go to the little corner. Let's go. I'm tired of your attitude. James has a very big problem with lying. I'm not he fucking leaving. lies to cover up a lie. We got a sub from Natty now. Thank you, Natty, for the four. Thank you, Ms. Matty H. Oh, look, Cooper sighting in the background, everybody. That is a lie. No, you got yourself in trouble. Don't blame somebody for your damn mistakes. I want you push him. I want to with all my heart trust him, but his past record. His dad's got a bit of a temper, shocker. Is not good. I saw you do it. I don't know why I lie, I just do. <laughs> that is a bad kid. That kid is gonna cause problems. So, mum and dad were telling me that sometimes when they ask you things, you don't always tell the truth. Why is that? I just don't think right. I don't, I really don't think right. That's what mum and dad say about you, don't they? What do you think? They're right, I don't really think right. Oh, poor kid. It was sad to hear James say that he doesn't think right, which proves that parents have really got to be careful with labeling their kids because it can damage their self-esteem. <laughs> this is definitely Arizona. Dude, that's life. disgusting and rude. That's not your plate. Are you gonna use that for it? Yeah. Don't do that. Damn. The stab the two-year-old. Shut up and eat. He's gotten louder and louder and louder every year. But you didn't know I was eating. You didn't know I was eating, right? No. I, didn't I was sitting right where? I haven't sat down yet. And I think I'm a little hard of hearing now. <laughs> You're going to use that fork? <laughs> Ryan, Feel better? So Are you done? Jimmy's very intolerant of behavior. We'll talk to Ryan like that. Angry, aggressive. So and to watch that, it's very ugly. It's very, very ugly. Okay. I'm gonna guess they didn't show that for a reason, cause holy crap. That number one is a two year old. And that was a hard smack. 
Hey, Carmen. Look, Sandra, that was a hard smack. It's very, very ugly. Dude, that's like a full power slap. No, oh, you threw it at me, so now how the hell are you going to get it? I was getting more frustrated because he wouldn't eat his food. Then you better eat your food. I thought hey. he threw a fork at me. So my initial reaction was I turned over and I donked him on the head with the fork. Your two-year-old threw a fork at you. So you smacked him in the head with the fork. And it was a plastic fork. It didn't hurt him. You deal with it. Jimmy's behavior was so appalling. I didn't want to wait until the parents' yes. meeting, so I sat him down straight away there we and go. confronted him. Let's go. Tired. Yeah. I agree, jail time. I mean, literally, genuinely. Tonight was terrible for you. Yeah, I didn't like tonight at all. Because? They just don't listen, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm not I'm not succeeding at what I'm trying at, and well, yeah, you're like hitting that. him in the head. How important is it for you that you have a relationship with your boys? It's very important, because when I grew up, I was never given the chance to know my father until I was 14. Do you want to be and do all the things with your boys that your dad never did with you? Yes. You didn't stop hitting them. Oh, Josie. You didn't really have a role model, did you, really? This man is stinky. How important is it that your boys have that? Hmm? It's very important. You're still hurting, aren't you? Hmm? Yeah, you know who else is hurting? Ryan. When you smacked him in the head with a fork. Can I give you a hug? Because you really, may be. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm surprised Joe is being so nice. I feel like all it takes is like someone cries and then it's like, all right, you're forgiven. Like, I would have been like, hey, you hit your child multiple times today. Let's talk about that. He's two years old. You could go to jail for that. That's the conversation I would have had. Not like, do you want to be a better dad? Big bloke, but let me tell you, right, you're still hurting, huh? Hmm? Kids got a headache. He's showing her more. I want is. my kids to have what I didn't have, but yet I'm not really giving it to them. Yeah. But I'm trying. Giving them beatings. We're gonna work through this because you're still angry. You're angry. You're sad. Everything, right? Yeah. Will you allow me to Joe, help Joe you? Joe doing me? her thing already. Yeah. I want to be able to honor the fact that he's trusted me to be very open about his own feelings and to help him process that so he can get on with being the father that he wants to be to his three boys. <laughs> After speaking to Jimmy, it was time to sit down with both the parents to talk about all the issues that- All right, what do we think? Will they have a fruit bowl? Yes or no, chat? One if yes, two if no. What do you think? Will they have a fruit bowl? In the shot. Parker thinks no. And attack thinks no. Everyone else thinks yes. Okay, it's getting split. I am going 100% with one. I think there will be a fruit bowl. Apples, grapes, pears. Will there be a table runner is a good question. Let's find out. That needed to be resolved. Let's talk about your family. Whoa! Table runner, yes. Salt and pepper shakers, yes. No fruit bowl. This is a big, this is crazy. Table runner, salt and pepper shakers. I'm not fucking leaving. Was not on my bingo list. That's a big, that's a, that's like a runway for a plane. Jazzy, thank you for the 16 <laughs> prime, Jazzy. I appreciate that. Yeah, thank God we didn't do a predict on that one. I would have been, I would have lost too. Thank you, Jazzy. I appreciate you always being here. Thank you so much. It's almost centered, yeah. It's actually not that bad. It's not off-centered. It doesn't bother me. Family, if the points we do go on to talk about are not fixed, you, you are like going urns, to get that 2 a.m. Like phone call from the police. And that's really serious. Hey, what you say, Mr. We do go on to talk about are not fixed, you are going to get that 2 a.m. phone call from the police. Yes, tell them. And that's really serious. Tell them. The first thing that I want to talk to the pair of you about 
is irresponsible supervision. I walked into this house, said hello to the pair of you, and within about 20 minutes, your kids were outside the house and you didn't even realise where they were. You know, yes, where, where are you both? These kids are your responsibility. Sammy, can you post I mean, this after stream? It's not a busy street. You know what I mean? I, I don't... It's not a busy street is a crazy thing to say when someone says, why are you letting your kids unsupervised out there? I didn't see a problem with it. I'll tell you one thing. You're lucky that your kids haven't been hit by a car. Right. That's fatal. Right. No, I get that if they get hit by a car, it's fatal. I get that. But I know... But not enough. Not enough. Because if not, you did... Not her kind of combating. Get it, Holly. Your kid wouldn't be out. The second thing that I want to talk about is the video games. Who is responsible here for allowing the kids That's to definitely play Jimmy, you could tell. the adult up, video games that they're playing? We try and prevent it, but I can't just knock on all the people's doors, you know, that he plays at and be like, hey, you know what? My kid's not allowed to play X, Y, Z. Why? I don't feel like I could tell those parents what to do. Why? With your kid? I don't, I don't feel with your like kid. I could say... With yeah. your kid. The video games that he's playing are violent. They use strong language. We've... I'm not going to lie. I did play a lot of video games as a kid, and some of them I probably shouldn't have played. But here's the difference. I was not fake shooting people with guns. I was not ba bashing my brother in the head. I was not uh, doing what these kids are doing. Okay, so I think there's a little, there's some levels to this. Got then the boys coming back and mimicking that behavior, pointing guns everywhere. Seriously, tell me what you're both gonna say when you're standing up in court because your 16 year old thought it was fun to, as he would put it, bang, bang somebody else, right? It's your responsibility to look after your kids. Don't make your kids society's problem. Oh, preach. Joe with a bomb, saying? bomb mm -hmm. comment right there. Let, let's talk about the next thing here. The hitting, the punching. It's got to stop. I don't pop the kids in the mouth that much, but I don't think it's so. I don't. That much. Nah, this is the craziest. I don't I'm pop, I don't pop the kids in the face that much. That much. Giffy, thank you. Another first time subscription. That's three first time subscriptions today. Thank you for the fresh subs. I appreciate that. Thank you. Is it Diffy? Diff no, I'm going to say Diffy just because I think that sounds cool. Diffy. Diffy, thank you for the first time. Fresh. Fresh, fresh. What's up, Carissa? How you doing? That's crazy. What a wild sentence. I was right. Let's go. I don't pop the kids in the mouth that much, but I don't think so. I don't. Thank you for the first sub. I appreciate that, that very much. Thank you. So because you gave birth to your own kids, you think that you're warranted to be able to do that. That's okay for you to pop your kids in the mouth and treat them that way from their own parents. And then you wonder why they end up hitting other kids in the mouth. How are we being good role models when we choose to cuss at the kids, to not follow through on discipline? How, how are we showing? We're not. We're not. I don't like the mom. At all. I, the mom is giving me these, like, vibes of, like, I don't really care. I mean, Jimmy, seriously, if you could watch yourself, you're like a prison guard. The way that you talk to the boys. You're mean-spirited with the boys. And yet underneath... Someone earlier said that they, the mom looks like Eliza Pancakes from The Sims, and I do see it's it. It's not you. Underneath, you want to be able to reach out to them. But you're not going to do it by the way that you're communicating with your kids. Now, I'm here to support you and to give you advice and techniques really and being able like to her. do that. But I can't find the strength that you're going to need. So are we going to get on and do some work? Or are we going to sit back and still think about this? I'm ready to do the work. Yeah? I don't believe her. OK. I'm ready. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, so enough of the talk, because I want to see some action. Now, this, is the, this might be the first time I believe the dad more than the mom. Dad ain't no sane, obviously. Unfortunately, Dad was at work when I arrived the next day to teach the Tafoyas. And because Mum usually spends most of her time with the kids, I had her set yes, down Yes, I love when she brings things. This is something that you guys... Very nice. ...need. 
This is about her taking charge and really being the disciplinarian that she's going to need to be when she's at home. And these rules are for the house. If you guys choose to break these rules, there are going to be serious consequences. What you're going to do, Holly, is fill in those rules. So our first rule is going to be what? Not lie and wise off and talk back. They're so you, you said lie, sons. so no lying. The most important rule for me is the no lying. Can they be specific, like, no, don't go outside without me. asking? Of course. It's your rules. Do okay, Lipa. Next one. Oh, good handwriting. How about no nasty words? OK, I'm going to be honest. The mom, why she seems very mean. Oh, How about that? No, 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 no. How about no talking back? I'm hoping that Holly will do really well now she has wrote down the house rules for the kids. Is there any questions about Please. any of these rules? No, thank you. So you <laughs> no, understand you. all of them? Yeah. yeah. OK. The kids know what the rules are now. There are no excuses for them not to follow them. They're well aware of what's on the board. OK. With the rules established, it's now important for me to teach mum the naughty step technique so she can properly love enforce we the love rules a good naughty she's step. just set up. Coming down to a child's level and giving them a warning. OK, if they continue, hey, Sophia. you take them on to the naughty step and you explain why you've placed them there for one minute per a year. If they get up, you place them back. Once they have done that, you go back and you explain again why you've put them on the naughty Those, step. The, the boys done literally that, you go look back like and you carbon copies of each other. Like, literally, they look like they were cloned. And they're not twins. Explain again why you've put them on the naughty step. And then you tell them, I want you to say you're sorry. Holly feels that the littlest one, Ryan, is the most trouble. Yeah, well, whatever. I don't believe that at all. I haven't seen Ryan do anything wrong. So after I taught her how to use discipline the correctly, angel. we sent them all to a ceramic studio to put mum to the test. Don't drop that. It'll break. Put them on the table. I was really stressed out. I was worried. I what would they were not be bringing these kids to a ceramic studio. Going to do what they were going to say, how I was going to No, them. sir. No. Ryan, mommy said no. Sorry. Listen to me. If you don't stop touching, you're going to go on the naughty step, OK? Yeah. Ryan, please make me look good. Stop. Ryan. Oh, my god. You know, Ryan proved to be quite a handful. Oh, my and god. And mom had got more than she ever bargained for just to keep up with him. This is embarrassing. No. Joe set them up. Why did Joe take these crazy ass kids to a ceramics class? Let's just be honest. Ryan, mommy told you not to touch and you touched. Now you're gonna sit on the naughty step. I feel like I'm getting yelled at. All right, that's what I'm talking about. This is the naughty step. Come down, sit down, do the technique Stay properly. Here. All right, you've stepped up. You've become more assertive. You're taking charge now, which is important for the kids to see that. I learned that I could take the kids out in public. Before Joe came, I would not have taken them by myself. Yeah. Now I will. <laughs> OK, Ryan. Put together. Mommy put you on the naughty step for not listening. <laughs> Say, I'm sorry. <laughs> Say, I'm sorry. <laughs> OK, give me a hug and a kiss. I was not sorry. Mum's doing a really good job of managing saying, Ryan, sorry. but Ryan's always going to want to imitate James and Tyler. So I need to come up with an exercise that's going to allow them to behave better. I need Joe at the end of the episode to say, I love you, Ryan. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put on our climbing harnesses. When I first saw the wall, I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I going to climb this? So teamwork. You think he's a cancer? Teamwork allows Probably. Us to do what? Accomplish lots of things. We can do as much as we can by ourselves, but if we work well as a team, we can do a lot more. So I've come up with an exercise for James and Tyler that's going to help them work as a tag team. All right, we're good to go. Their legs are going to be tied together, so climbing this wall is definitely going to be a joint effort. I think that Joe just wants these kids to get hurt. To work together to get to the top. See, look at that. You can't go until he's ready to go, too. <laughs> <laughs> to the top you go, guys. You guys look like professionals. Use your feet. Take your feet with you. Hold on, James. You got to watch for your brother. 
check each other, see where you're at. They, when the boys were, they were all the way up that thing. They were climbing the rock wall and their feet were linked together. I was kind of in awe. There you go. Good job you guys are doing. Oh my goodness. Good, huh? Look at them. Good footwork there. These boys, they build confidence and healthy self-esteem and they start to make choices that are the That's right choices Joe's the goat. and not the ones that get them into trouble. They worked really well together. They weren't criticizing each other. They weren't trying to kick each other off. The Look who's down there by himself, dude. Poor Ryan. The rock wall. They actually helped Free each Ryan, other. Free Ryan, bro. All right. Yeah. Ryan, do nothing wrong, bro. Tyler and James did really oh, good shit. teamwork and I was proud of them. I felt very, very, very good when I reached the top with my brother. Whoa! Okie dokie. Good job. Okie dokie. Awesome. Awesome. There we go. E for everyone games. The next thing I needed to do was to educate this family about the video games rating system. Only 21% of kids say that their parents have any rules about the video games. Them dirty ass socks. Gotta clean them carpets, Jimmy. They can play. So this is information that a lot of families need to hear. Lesson today. Game ratings. All right. What does E mean? Everyone. What's this one? Oh, that are you ten? You have to be ten, but you can't be under ten to play those. I didn't. Hey, James. Know that there was a E ten and up. I thought that any E game was suitable for my kids. What's that one, Dad? Teenagers, 13 and up. What's this one? M for mature, meaning a game not found in our house. <laughs> I've played an M game before, but I don't know no more. What was it? <laughs> he just snitched on himself. M game like? Shooting, cussing, robbing, and <laughs> killing. James. Oh my God. All right, a little too honest there, James. God damn, now he's not lying at all. Shooting, robbing, cussing, killing. James, which is the best one to play? I want to play one team game. It's not even bad. Let him read the back of T. Read, read the back of T. Hey, Untamed Violence. Suggestive Themes. W -lo. Minimal Blood. OK, so does that sound like something that you should be playing? Do we w want any? Yeah. Any of these things? In our house, it's just a game. But it's that that kid is slurping down water. By the way, I don't know if you can hear it. It's not when you act it out. Learning about the video game ratings has made mum and dad realize that they need to pack up those teen games right away. And when James, their eldest, shout out a question. I want you to be completely honest. If a guy, if you see a guy, and you're about to go on a date for the first time, and he's he comes wearing jorts, do you get the ick from that? Be completely honest. If he comes in jean shorts, do you get the ick? Ryan, I am a lesbian. Okay, if the girl comes to the date in jean shorts. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I do think jean shorts are pretty silly. Like the ones that go really far down too. There's a certain style that works, and there's a certain style that doesn't. <clears throat> well, yeah, I feel like Sammy Dominic Fike could wear a bee costume, and you would try to pollinate. Dad realized that they need to pack up those teen games right away. And when James, their eldest son, realized what that meant, he started to get upset. Okay, so this should have a big red X over it because it's not allowed in our house. Nor are you allowed to play it at anyone else's house. So why don't you pick some oh, that great. you think are allowed <laughs> here in this house? Oh, when Joe showed me the ratings for the video games, I didn't really like it because I used to be able to play teen games, but now I can't. <laughs> T for teen is out. Oh, All the fun games are gone. I can't even play my favorite game. <laughs> You only got a couple years. It'll fly by, I promise you. Before you know it, you'll be 20 and wishing you were 10 again. Okay? I feel that, you know, a lot of kids get exposed to so many. He is upset. I don't blame him, though. Getting getting told you can't play your favorite game probably sucks. Much so early. But whilst we are in our own homes and we have communication with our neighbors and our friends, you know, we can do as much as we possibly can to control that situation.
Ultimately, parents are responsible for the video games their kids play, whether that's at a neighbor's house or in their own home. So when Holly told Imagine me that Animal she Crossing really didn't banned. know how oh to God. discuss the video games with her neighbor, I took the liberty neighbor. to invite her into there our you go. Bring so Linda over. discuss this straight away. What you decide... Guaranteed her name is Linda. Right, ...to do with your child is one thing. What you decide to do with your child is one thing. So... Oh, I was so close. Laurie. I was very close. Linda and Laurie is pretty damn similar. How do we clear that up so that James can't turn around and say... Almost. Oh, well, I've got around to Colton's and I can do it there. And what can the pair of you do together to make sure that that doesn't happen? I won't let Colton play any games that you don't want him to play. Right, same with you guys. We right. won't let them play until we talk to you and Jimmy. <laughs> do you have each other's number? Not yet. Right. No, no, we don't. Let's do that. It's so important to be able to communicate constantly with your neighbors, especially when your kids you miss flip phones. So much... Life was so much easier when flip phones were a thing, dude. Like, there was something like exciting about going on the internet back when flip phones existed. Now it's just everywhere. I like kind of miss the exclus exclusivity. What the fuck word am I trying to say? I don't know how to say that word, exclusivity. <laughs> time in each other's homes. So the nice thing is at least then you know that you've got each other's support. We're going to convert. <laughs> I missed that. That's what I wanted to say. What's up, Sierra? First, more often so that we know how our kids are behaving at each could other's house. could nudes back then. You probably still could. There's still forums. After the neighbors left, I could see that something was bothering James. And I just really wanted to sit down and get to the bottom of it. James, come here. Let me talk to you for a minute. Come here. Okay. Brown James. He's always gone. He works for almost two days. Oh. Clearly, there are still issues between James and his father that are lingering that do need to be resolved. He's doing now what's best for you because he cares about you. No, he doesn't. Why doesn't he? Because he always wants to work. So you think that he doesn't care about you because he's working all the time? He cares more about money than he does of us. Damn. Daddy's out earning money. I would, um, I would show Papa that right there. So that he can pay for this house and to make sure that so you he is eat making money. Yeah. And that you that have the clothes me. that are on your back. Talking to James really broke my heart and I knew that I needed to get father and son together. If you had the chance to father. tell Daddy how much you miss him, and how much you want to spend time with him. Would you do that? Exactly. You'd yeah. say, James, you don't get these damn games if your dad don't work. He'll be like, okay, never mind. Okay. okay. Dad, oh! Yeah! I felt very, very nervous when Joe said we should have a chat with your dad. So I was having a good chat with James today. And you were telling me, how you were feeling. What was some of those things that we, that we were talking about? That... I wanted him to stay home. Mm. You said that you felt that, that Daddy didn't care about you, right? Yeah. Mm. Because why was that? Because he always had to work. And that he cared more about what? Money. And do you get much time to spend with Dad? No. Then do you miss spending time with Dad? Yeah. I'm not going to work to take time away from you by no means. But at the same time, I have to make money to, you know, so we can live. I felt for Jimmy because it's not easy to explain the reality of being away and making a living. But it is important that parents do the best that they possibly can so the kids realize that they're not away from home because they don't love them. Hey, I love you. You I know that, you right? I'm going to take time every weekend um, and do something. Park, go karts, football. Two hours for each kid. Dad's start, that starting to uh, starting to win me back a little bit here. Every weekend, and then uh, at the end of the month, I take all three out, just me and them, and hang out. Because <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> some, sometimes I feel like when people fake it, but I feel like you know I'm getting some genuine vibes here. Hope he doesn't smack his kids in the head anymore, though. After speaking to James, Jimmy really didn't want to waste another minute. So he took the opportunity to take the boys outside and play some football. When you go to catch the ball, catch it like this and bring it to your chest. 
Ready? Now bring it to your chest. Back. Yay! See? Bark, you want me to try to balk you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I felt like a dad. I was teaching my kids to catch football. <laughs> yeah, it's something I can do every day. A lot of faith in You're that doing kid. good, dude. Catching like a superstar. <laughs> Playing football with my dad um, was the best thing Joe could have done for us. Oh, we'll start nice. doing this some more, OK? We'll Sound fun? All right, good. I had a good time, guys. There's a calmness that overcomes Jimmy. You can see it on his face when he's playing with his boys. And the more time he takes to spend time with his boys, the less time he's going to become angry and frustrated. When these boys grow up, they'll be able to say, yeah, Dad taught me how to do my first throw and my kick. That's all the stuff he didn't have, right? Right. I and mean, that's what it's all about. Right. Even though Jimmy didn't have a father figure himself as he was growing up, he does truly know the importance of being a father to his own boys. And he's making great strides in becoming a better father himself. Yeah, we learned to catch, didn't we? I'm going away for a few days. I will be watching. I really think that my boys are going to see exactly how much they can get away with. There's a hug, James. See you soon. I'm a little nervous. I wanted, I wanted her to say bye. Bye, Ryan. I hope that the, the techniques that we've been taught work. See you when I get back. All right, bye. I hope that they seriously take on board what they've been taught and that they implement it while I'm away, which you'll see. The video game situation had definitely been sorted out before I left, but I was still curious to see whether they would be <coughs> tempted to get out those video games while I was trip. away. So how ready are we to take a look at this? Anxious, nervous, want to see it so it gets over with. Let's take a look then. What's this one? Early childhood. Early childhood. Can we play this one? Yes. Why? Because it's a, it's for kids, and, and only kids can play it. What's this one? And mature for adults. Why? Can't play it because there's bad language, shooting. Any ones on this wall, you can't play anywhere, no matter what. Good stuff. You had the information yourself, you educated yourself, you educated your kids, you placed the ones that they could up on the wall. <clears throat> it's knowledge. Everybody knows now knowledge. everyone's clued up. So I want to take a look at the next clip here. And this is all about James lying and his behaviour. This is what I told you about. Uh-oh. You're in trouble. Did you leave the backyard? Nope. <laughs> you didn't leave the backyard? Nope. Are you sure? Did you go outside the fence? No. You didn't go outside the gate? No. You didn't jump the fence? No. Kyler, yeah. is your brother lying to me? No. All right. Hey, brother ain't no snitch. No! I just went over there! The first time when I asked you, how long were you over there? Not that long. So you did jump the fence before? And you lied to me when I asked you. Wait. You just told me you weren't over there very long. <laughs> you, just... you could tell his brain. He's like, oh, no, I messed up. Just admitted yourself that you jumped oh. that fence. <laughs> D no, I thought... not backtracking. <laughs> you lied. I didn't know what and you I... meant. I, I can tell when James is lying. All I have to do is look at his face. Uh -huh. he, get, he gets a, a lost look. Mm -hmm. OK, so I, I've got to pose a question to you. Well, I... Did you know at that point he lied? I thought he lied, but... You, you thought he lied? She wasn't confident that he lied. I wasn't uh, completely... How the hell did the mom not know he was lying? I'm 100% sure. Why don't you trust your instinct? I hate to call him a liar if he's not lying. Well, I Jesus. I don't want to do that to him. But you knew he was lying. Once again, don't love the mom. Okay, what did he just say? Smell your own butt crack, all right? Butt crack. What did I just say to you? No oh, nasty words. And what did you do? Said so nasty words. Right, you're eating soap. Let's go. Whoa! Holy sh- wait, what? Uh, this is not gonna be good. She's smiling at Joe. On camera? What did you do? Said so nasty words. I thought she was gonna say, all right. Back to the timeout. Right, you're eating soap. Let's go. Where did the eat soap come from? We're 31 minutes into the episode. 
Look at Ryan being an angel back there. You can't see him, but he's an angel. Dude, Jesus. Oh. Look at her smiling at Joe. Open. Oh! Bruh. And then she was serious. You could get really sick from that. I don't think they're gonna show it. Yeah, liquid so you can get that can really mess your stomach up. What is happening? You've had to eat soap before? This is a thing? I've never had to eat soap before. That's crazy. I want to spit that out. Right. This is crazy. Yo, this is crazy. She is going to beat her. this girl's ass. Are you inside? Thank God, dude. What is this? You've just put a toxin into your child's mouth. Look at her. If she, if the mom fights this, I swear to God. Just a little bit. Oh. Oh, this is. What's she gonna put? Laundry detergent next? I didn't even do a whole pump. I don't even know what to say right now. It makes me really sad. Why, why would you think that that's okay for you to do that to your kids? I mean, that's not that bad. What satisfaction did you get? He, he stopped the behavior that I wanted him to what, stop. What feel-good feeling did you have? I, I really, I honestly don't see the severity in it. Oh, I really, no. Really, she's It's over. It's over. I really genuinely don't. Oh. Well, if you don't... Yes, Joe. Yes. Joe, do it. Do it, Joe. Don't do it. Please, please, Joe. Yes. I was about to say this, and she already said, Come on, Joe. Give her a little pump. She's going to show me the labels. No, she's going to make you eat the soap. I suppose it's all right to eat then, is it? Oh my god, this, this, this episode went from it went zero to a hundred. No, not for me. Yeah, just for your child who's developing. <laughs> no, it's not, I don't want to eat. It's not me. It's my child whose brain isn't fully formed yet. It's good for him. That tastes disgusting. He's not going to want to do it again, and he didn't. I think it's sad that you're at a point where you feel that you need to turn to chemicals. She still smile like this, this lady. To... Have your children respect you as their mother. It hasn't worked in teaching your child the value of respecting what you don't want. They were not giving me respect by saying nasty oh, words. So, oh, it's so uncondi oh, it's not unconditional love then. So it's it's love on your terms. Okay, so wait. They get hold, respect one day. Hold and they the get bow. Respect another day. Me Is putting soap down. Whoa. This might be a first. I've actually never seen something like this happen. I've never seen someone like do this. No, as far as I'm concerned, you can leave. Right. Uh, uh, All right. That respect. She is so mad at Joe for calling her out for feeding her child liquid soap. Respect, so. Holly. This, the interview's over. How is this respect, Holly? I'm not sitting down with her. She's not gonna say anything. No. When I got up and walked away from the table, I was crazy. completely disgusted. I could not believe that she said that. I, that I conditionally loved my kids. If I want to put soap in his damn mouth, a tiny bit, a dime-sized thing of soap. Why are, you don't have to plead your case to me. I didn't think that she could say anything else that was going to help me in any way, shape, or form. I'm not finishing the interview, and I'm not doing her learning lessons with her because I don't learn anything else from her. If you don't want to do it, then you don't want to do it. It's fine. 
There's not a damn thing I can do about it. I just took the whole day off for what? When I walked out, I was done. I felt that she completely overstepped her bounds. But when it came down to it, I still had a couple unanswered questions from Joe that I wanted, you know, I wanted answers for. This is this is not what I expected to happen. So I gather we're here because we want to be back here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Once Holly came back, I realized I've made my point about the soap, so I decided to close the DVD meeting and move on. The stuff that definitely needs improving is the stuff that I want to work on the pair of you with today. Holly, are you up for working with me and continuing? Great. Work to be done, OK? And uh, I think we should get going on some more work, right? OK. OK. Holly still needed to learn that what I had already taught her was better than her using soap. So I really needed to sit and talk to and her. Honestly, Joe give is super hug. nice, man. I would have been... Give us a hug. <laughs> Come on, give us a hug. What have you learned from me? I would put some soap in her mouth while she's not looking. I need to be more nurturing but firm when I need to be. And not to yell and not put soap in the kid's mouth. <laughs> I don't like... She. There's, some, there's almost like something psychotic about the way that she is so happy and stuff. I don't like her. Okay. I don't like her. As I was talking to Holly about how unnecessary <laughs> it is to put soap in a child's mouth. Hold on. James, what? come here. Come here. Come right down here now. James gave me the perfect opportunity to be able to teach her exactly that. Did you just go in that closet that I told you not to go in and get another balloon? I didn't get the, this balloon. I, Were I you in that this. closet? No, I wasn't. James a bad liar. I watched you walk out of that closet. The door's still open. <laughs> Naughty step. James knows that he is not supposed to be in the cupboards in the bathroom. He lied to me. So I went ahead and I put him on the naughty step. You lied to me, and I want you to sit here and think about why you do that and why you just did it and came out here and lied to me. I lied. I don't want to hear it. I, know I don't want to hear it. Thing. I've heard the phrase clean your mouth out with soap, but I've never actually seen it. Yeah, I didn't know people actually did it. Damn, this kid's going. Whoa! He sound like those parrots at the zoo. Cover, don't laugh. Like one of those tree monkeys. <laughs> didn't think that there was anything else. I didn't think that there was anything else that she could tell me Legit turned into a bird. that was going to benefit me. I was wrong. She showed me the naughty step again, told me exactly what I was doing wrong and why. Oh, I hate say, this woman. This is me, being the authoritative person oh, here, being the disciplinarian. Smiling and laughing. Uh. Okay, James. Ignore that, just for attention. Holly listened to my advice, and she ignored James's attempt to get her attention. And eventually gave up. You know why I put you here? He's like wearing the Sid from Toy Story shirt, kind of, by the way. Right. You know that that's one of the house rules, James, and we've been going through this a lot. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Don't lie to me anymore. I'm proud of Holly for listening to my advice and doing discipline correctly with James. Tell me you're sorry. Sorry. Do you mean it? Yes. Sorry. You go real sorry. I love you. When he apologized to me, instead of denying it, that made me feel really good. The Tafoyas have definitely made a lot of progress, and it has allowed me to realize that I can allow them to continue using the techniques on their own. Don't just go in there. When I first saw Joe and she walked in my house and her little Look at how good Ryan's little... been, by the way. We didn't hear a damn word about Ryan the last 30 minutes. Little briefcase, I was like, okay. Yeah, have fun, lady. He's a real saint. You're not too old for a big hug. Come here. She showed me how to be a better role model. I learned to keep my composure, stay calm, and just respond, not react. Hey, give me a hug. It's okay, Sam. I still don't like this mom. She's a bitch. All right. I've known him a long time, and he's different. He's different. Keep up your work together. Jimmy and Holly have certainly come a long way in growing up and maturing be doing throughout pretty good, the time though. that I've been there. 
Bye, Jojo. Blow kisses. Bye, Bye Jojo. I was thankful for what she did teach me, and I'll, I'll take that with me. Bye. Bye, Bye Talon. Bye, Ryan. Oh, my God. I manifested it. Legit manifested it. Yes. Who sound alert. Dude, I fucking manifested it. Look at that. Wow. And I'll I'll take that with me. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye Talon. Bye, Ryan. Oh, I love it. And they're certainly on the right track. Wow. It, it legit happened exactly how I wanted it to. <laughs> to be in the good examples wow. that their children need. Love it. What a good way to end it. Thank you so much, Joe, for saying that to me. Put you on my shoulders. From this whole experience, the thing that I've learned from my kids is that they need more time for me. Plain and simple. Bottom line. Yeah, thank you, Amber. You steer. I got the gas. We're good. The change I'm seeing in Holly, the boys say, listen to her now, and I'm ecstatic about that. I think that I have more knowledge of how to be a better parent. Um, I actually switched to bar soap and not dish soap. Then before Joe got here. Here we go, we got the clip. I feel like with the techniques that I have, I'm more nurturing now. Ready? Okay. So what I actually did now is I'm, I'm using Tide Pods in James' mouth instead of liquid soap. And before I used to yell and scream. Just much tastier looking. Now I just, I talk. <laughs> I talk. Come on, James, show it to mom. Would you stop doing that? You're a foot taller than me. I'm really excited. About I feel like they hate each other, to be honest. Like, I feel like she doesn't like about my family's future and where we're headed. The future is bright. Well, thank you for the follow. Okay, all right. I still like the mom. I don't know. She's got a great clip out of this, though. You got a great clip out of this. I'm so